morning, this is Yen. I'm on my first stop of my long journey and I'm in Antakya, Turkey. One important historical fact about Antakya is that it's a one important city on the Asian Silk Road. And this Silk Road starts from Xi'an in China all the way to Europe. And by then, Antakya's name is Antioch. But what was traded on this Asian Silk Road? Maybe we can find some of the answers in this bazaar. In this bazaar, I want to show you one of the special food that they make. Look at this. So he's putting some dough into the container and then the container he turns this big safe. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good. Okay. What do you brew? China. Qing. Huh? Qing. What is this? This is kunefe. Kunefe. Well, 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 well. This is kunefe. Kunefe. Meal flour with water only. This uh, with on with uh, every day this uh, cheese with sugar. Very good. He's telling me that this is one part of a kunefe, which is a famous dessert in this region, and this is how they make it. It's very artistic, isn't it? Look at that. This is the first answer that I found. Look at all those different spices. This is uh, sumac and different chili pepper and the flowers. And those are perhaps the second important products that was traded uh, on the Silk Road. Those are the soap and those are the olives. And now I've walked past by a carpentry shop. Look at this. So it's very loud here because of the machine. But I think he's making a cutting board. Look at those. YouTube kana yes. 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 I actually don't understand, but I think they are asking for my YouTube channel, so say hi to the camera. Hi Hello. Hello. This is a silver shop. I just saw this in a bazaar. This is a Turkish delight shop. They make lots of lots of different kinds of sweets. That's how they cut the candy. They just gave me a piece of this. Um, it's a um, sticky sugary candy with peanut inside. Very delicious. Very sweet though. As long as I want to film, they keep giving me nice stuff. What an experience. In this bazaar, you can find mosque almost every 20 meters. So let's go and have a look. This is the washing area. That is the pre area. Okay, enough for the bazaar. Otherwise, I will never have enough time here. Merhaba. Merhaba. Another special thing about Antakya is that it has a very large historical old city. 
which is where I am right now. And because of a Christian history, um, the housing style is a bit of a combination of a French style and Armenian style. They just told me that I can have a look upstairs and they also told me this house is actually French style. Wow, look at this. Anyway, the old uh, quarter of Antakya, it's definitely worth walking around. At night, there are lots of bars and restaurants and you hear music everywhere. What also makes Antakya pretty unique is that it has a very interesting mixture of different religions. For example, Islam, Christian and even Judaism. St. Peter's Church is the first cave church in the world. It's exactly in this church that the name Christian was given to the people who believe in Jesus Christ. Habibi Nata Mosque, it's the oldest mosque in Antakya. It has over a thousand years of history. The name Habibi Nata is actually the first person who follows Jesus Christ. But then he was stoned to death by the non-believers and his tomb is inside this mosque. Food is definitely another good reason to visit Antakya. In fact, it is one of UNESCO's gastronomy cities. I'm going to try one special food of the region that is hummus. Mahaba? Um, hummus. Okay. Hummus, one hummus. Antakya is that the people are very very friendly. I was invited almost three times for tea every day in Antakya. Uh, so if you are interested in history, if you like good food and if you want to meet friendly people, you definitely have to come to this place. Thanks for watching and see you next time.